Hey everybody, Kelly Ritchie here. Welcome to The Cutting Edge. Now, it's that time of year where the weather's starting to get nice. People want to be outside more. Vacations start to happen. And practice routines kind of go by the wayside. So I want to give you some tips so you can stay connected with your guitar, not lose any ground, and even if you're traveling and on vacation and can't take your guitar with you, some things you can do to stay connected. Now, if you are a beginning student or intermediate student, it's real important to practice your finger exercises. Even if you don't have time to do a full practice, grab your guitar and play at least one once a day. That will keep you connected, okay? Get a metronome on your phone, all right? Where you can turn on the metronome, 72 beats per minute. Why 72 beats per minute? I always start students off with Hey Joe. It has all of the chord shapes, the bar chords, it's in the key of E, and the rhythm track for that is 72 beats per minute. If you run across different videos in the classroom where I'm teaching finger exercises and have you doing it at 70 beats per minute, and then 90, and then 120, that's, that's great. But I'm finding over the years, especially with the rhythm tracks that I've added to the channel, if you take one a little bit slower tempo, like, you know, we find ourselves with Hey Joe, 72 beats per minute, and if you play quarter notes, if you're a beginner, that's just the perfect tempo, you know, once you get the mechanics of it down. Then, by adding up picks, because you always use down picks for quarter notes, by adding up picks at the same tempo, you get to play twice as fast. Guitar players love to play twice as fast. Then, once you really master quarter notes and eighth notes, at the same tempo, you can do 16th notes. Now you're getting to play four times as fast. It really builds some consistency, some entrainment. Then when you play Hey Joe, it's just a nice segue. Even when I play, you know, right around 70 or 80 beats per minute, I'm, I'm running 16th notes. I like to take my finger exercises up and down the neck three times with each of the three finger exercises every day for a warm up. If that's all I can do, I stay connected with my guitar. I can stay on top of my game. Whenever I let that slide, even I feel a bit rusty. Practice at least one finger exercise a day. And make sure that you know finger exercise number one really well before you move on to number two and then on to number three. Once you've mastered quarter notes and eighth notes, then you can begin doing sixteenth notes, okay? Don't rush it, it's not a race. It's really gonna be counterproductive if you rush this. So just grab a metronome, 72 beats per minute, pick one of your finger exercises up and down the neck once and you're done. If that's all of the time that you have, it will keep you from losing ground, okay? Now, if you're traveling and you can't take a guitar, take your guitar pick. You would be amazed how just keeping a pick in your hand really keeps you connected. And I'm not kidding, it really does. There's all kinds of little traveler guitars that'll even fit in a suitcase. Um, that's probably not a necessary investment if you're going on vacation, but if you do travel a lot, that is something to consider. There's some pretty nice instruments out there. If you look at the notes below for this uh, video, you'll see that I've put some um, information about where you can find the finger exercises. It's really good to turn on your metronome, make sure, just mute the strings, make sure that you can feel the groove, you know, quarter notes and eighth notes, and then sixteenth notes if you're ready. Because if you do that to the metronome before you start playing your finger exercises, then the metronome becomes more of your friend. So if you've been playing a while and the metronome isn't a problem, well then you don't need to worry about it. But when you're starting out, the metronome can really be an obstacle. So don't avoid it. Just turn it on. And that's another thing you can do when you're traveling. You can put on a metronome, especially if you have your earbuds. Not everybody's gonna wanna hear it. You know, and you can just feel the pulse. A lot of people really have um, trouble 
getting into that groove and allowing themselves to feel the pulse. Sometimes you can do a lot of work without a guitar because you're not trying to feel the pulse and do something with it, okay? So those are some powerful tools for you to work with. So for May and June, this is where we're gonna place our focus, making sure that you don't lose ground, that you stay connected with your guitar. And if you're on your regular practice routine, excellent. Make sure you start off each practice routine warming up with your finger exercise, okay? All right, have a good May and June. Practice hard. If you need more help, you can always sign up for a, a one private lesson here through the True Fire channel, or you can sign up to work together weekly. And I always teach one-on-one -on -one through Zoom. Those lessons are recorded, okay? So guitar lessons at kellyritchie.com if you want to find me outside of this platform. Other than that, have a great couple of months. Take care and play hard. And remember it. If you don't feel it, nobody feels it, okay? Take care.